Hey guys, what is up? It is I, James Penrose, here for video number 55 on my channel. And this video is going to be another Simpsons related topic video. But this time it's not going to be on just one single episode, and I'm not going to review just one episode this time. This time I'm going to be doing a Seasons DVD review of The Simpsons. And ironically enough, it's on my favourite season, Season 6 on DVD. Now I've made a couple of reviews on this before I even started on YouTube. So this is going to, my, this is going to be my official Simpsons Season 6 review on YouTube for the first time. Um, hope you guys enjoy. It. Uh, make sure you guys like the video uh, and comment on what you think is the best episode, what you enjoyed, and yeah, let's get down to the thick of things. Obviously, you know what's inside. What if you're a huge Simpsons fan? I don't need to tell you what looks, how it looks inside and outside. But here is the main thing: are all the episodes. And ironically enough, th this is permanent. That like, on the back, like you have normally, you have an option to get rid of the episodes on the back or you can just keep it on there but this is it's there permanently which i think is pretty awesome we have all the episodes on here i'm just going to talk about a few of the episodes if thing is, thing is if, I, if i talk about all of them it's going to it's going to drag on and it's going to get kind of draining so let's just talk about the episodes i feel immediately stand out bart of darkness great episode right there i love how bart breaks his leg and he has to go get a cast and then afterwards goes all kind of crazy and everything gets a telescope and then sees Ned flanders digging up a grave and burying what Bart thought was his wife but it was just a flower that no wonder he screams like a girl over it um but before that he got like a big massive pull and everyone and that's when Lisa actually became popular because that, that was after Bart broke his leg but great episode I really enjoyed it and yeah 10 out of 10 perfect uh Lisa's rival uh, to be honest Lisa as a character I used to hate Lisa as a kid I used to thought because I used to be right sexist as a kid. I, I, like I said before, I was a dickhead as a kid. I used to thought boys were better than girls. Everything. Girls suck at everything. They suck at this, suck at this. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I've changed now. I don't think that anymore. But I would truly love this episode where you have Lisa going for first chair saxophone. But little does she know that she finds a friend called Alison who's going for the same prize. And um, Lisa gets jealous because she's actually better than her. And then Bart and Lisa come up with this plan to destroy Alison's hopes of winning diorama rama i think it's called and they just totally stitch her up and ralph ends up winning it shockingly which i think was hilarious a joke a stupid joke but hilarious at the same time again great episode i really enjoyed it uh another simpsons clip show i believe this is one of those clip shows where they take a blast from the past and they show you a bunch of clips from a certain type of theme i believe this theme was about love and relationships where they go through a bunch of clips with Marge, Homer, Bart and Lisa and they talk about their relationships with other fellow Springfielders where you have Artie Ziff come in and he tries to have sex with Marge in the car and Marge slaps him in the face after Artie destroys her dress <laughs> and that's when Marge runs into home and, and she's like I should have gone to the prom with you not that rip trying to be a rapist Artie Ziff um, and we've seen him a few times ever since that episode like and that was only in season one as well would you believe uh we saw the part where bart um has this girl called what's she called laura that's it she's called laura and um laura has a boyfriend named jimbo who's one of bart's bullies um and then she ends up dumping him at the end and yeah all just cans end, ends up well but didn't really they didn't really show that bit yeah, just a bunch of other clips based on relationships before, and I'll review those in a few episodes reviews later on if I have the time. Uh, we have Itching Scratchy Land. This is where they find an advert. I think they find an advert for Itching Scratchy Land, and they end up going and let's just say, well, the storyline behind that was they've had family vacations before, but they've all been absolute disasters. They've ended in either dis embarrassment for Marge or just complete or not a tragedy. In injuries or whatever or kidnaps um so they decide to make it right let's go to Ixian and Stra scratchy land try to make things different did it go different no it was also an absolute utter disaster um they almost get killed and all um but they, they made it out all right in the end another great episode i have to say one of my favorites uh what's this one uh sideshow bob roberts i like how the episode was just based on that full name sideshow bob roberts yeah this is where sideshow bob returns this is the season after he tries to kill bart but failed um comes back he rids the election of trying to be mayor of springfield um but he gets caught red-handed again after they're in a court and the trial's going on and he gets put in jail again um uh, it's just funny how he he's, well i don't think it's in this one but i love how he just steps onto the rakes and he keeps hitting him in the face i think that's just hilarious he's like 
but a great episode. Uh, Trios of Horror, again, great episode. I mean, that, that's actually probably one of my favourite Trios of Horrors of all time. I mean, they've got like over 20, because it's been like 25, nearly 26 seasons. But that was a good one as well. Uh, Bart's girlfriend, this is where Bart gets a girlfriend named Jessica. Um, and so on and so on. She turned out to be a little brat, a little bitch. Who's trying to get Bart into trouble. I mean, yeah, Bart's a Hellraiser, but Jessica's, like, really, really up there. Um, Lisa on Ice, I've reviewed that um, in an episode review before. You guys can check that out. That's my That was the fifth video I ever made on YouTube. Um, so if you go to my channel and if you're going to go to my uploads, you can go to the oldest to newest section, and the oldest video is Lisa on Ice, or one of the oldest videos is Lisa on Ice, and I reviewed that episode. You want to check that out. Um, I give my thoughts out on there. But that's also a good episode. Lisa becomes an Ice skate for a hockey team and she has to go against Bart and I didn't really like the ending I thought there should have been a winner in that match but it was a draw I didn't really like that but it, it made sense so yeah uh, Homer Badman I believe this is where Homer gets accused of rape and sexual abuse <laughs> just because there's this candy right and Homer sees it on her ass and takes it off her ass and she just runs and Homer's like thank you oh, that was hilarious um, what else we got here Grandpa versus sexual inequality. I can't say that. Um, but yeah, uh, that episode's pretty good. We have. It's where. Oh, fuck, I can't remember the episode. Um, this is where Homer and Grandpa try to spend more time together. Um, little did they know, friendship. relationship goes down the drain. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I forget about the episode. Comment down below and tell me what happened in the episode and if you like it or dislike it. I can't quite remember. Yeah, I'm doing this all off the top of my head. Uh, we have Fear of Flying, episode with Marge. Um, what is it? Where Marge has a fear of flying because of her past with her father. Not turning out to be a fraud. Not what she thought he was. And all her past comes back to her. But it was hilarious at the end. Homer trying to guide Marge through the... The flight, and it just says, <laughs> Marge knows it's not going well, but that was funny as hell. Homer the Great, I'm going to pass the camera to me now. Uh, Homer the Great, that was the episode where um, Homer joins the Stonecutters, I believe it is, and um, he got kicked out um, again, because he used to get kicked out of one club as a kid, and he's like, no, Herm no Homer's club, and the little guy's like, <laughs> like that guy's a got a weird laugh, I have no idea what who he is, but another great episode, I enjoyed that. Um, we have and Maggie Mix Free. Uh, that's where um, uh, it's a story of how Maggie was born and how things were going in terms of Homer's job and how Marge was scared to tell him due to Homer's new job because he got a raise, I believe, at the power plant and he quit. And he just he kicked the hell out of Mr. Burns. You know, let's put it that way beforehand. But a great episode there. Right, I'm just going to go over the other episode names. If there's some stuff I want to talk about in episodes, I'll get to that. But I'm just going to go through the names. We have Bart's Comet. We have Home, Homie the Clown, where Homer becomes a clown, tries to be crusty. Kind of a fail, really. Bart vs. Australia, that's a good one. Where Bart makes a prank call to Australia. And um, it all just becomes like an almost an all-out war between America and Australia. Um, and he, he was ordered to get kicked in... In the in the ass by an, a big Australian boot, and, and Bart shows his rear end to the Australian people, and they just go ape shit. It was hilarious. Um, we have Homer versus Patty and Selma. This is where the Homer really erupts between Patty and Selma, because we all knew Homer hated Patty and Selma, but this was the episode where it just it really erupted and he couldn't take it anymore. It was funny as hell. A Star is Burns. That's, that's a fit, an awesome episode where Miss, there's like. Because Springfield tourist attraction is kind of going down the drain, apparently, from what I remember. And they bring in this guy called Jay Sherman, who was invited to come up to Springfield, and they discuss some new ideas as to what to do with the town to make it more popular and make it better. So they say, hey, let's do a film festival, let's bring some people in from Springfield, and let's get them to record themselves, make a little short trail of a film, and see where it goes from there, and see who could possibly win it. And the reason why it's called The Star is Burns is because Mr. Burns participates in that, and to be honest, I thought his film trailer was hilarious and also pretty darn epic, if you ask me. Um, the winner was Barney, and they, they were building this episode up to the point where it's like, oh my god, you think Mr. Burns is going to win the, the the prize, but now it's Barney Gumble. And what was the prize? A year lifetime supply of duff beer. And he's like, just suck it to my veins. It was hilarious. Uh, we have Lisa's wedding. I believe that's the one where they go back. They go into the future and they see what Lisa's wedding and Lisa's boyfriend is going to turn out to be. Um, we have two dozen and one greyhounds. Oh, 
quote was that episode? Fuck my life. Uh, I think that was the episode where they go to the Greyhounds and Santa's little helper chases this female dog and they both have sex and they give birth to 25 puppies and Mr. Burns takes them all and Bart and Lisa go to try and get them back and Mr. Burns knows that there's a certain dog that's a special one to him and he calls him Little Monty and that's only because he stands up and then Bart and Lisa do a trick where they all stand up and Mr. Burns is like, I can't tell I'm a bat! But it was hilarious, awesome, it was awesome. Uh, the PTA disbands, fuck my life, what's that? I believe that was the episode where um, Principal Skinner and Edda Krabappel have an all-out debate and war as to how the school should be run and everything. And um, Mrs. Krabappel sends the kids on strike after Principal Skinner says ordered something else, I don't know what it was. Uh, comment down below and tell me what happened in there, because there's a lot of stuff I'm missing out. Um, we have Round Springfield. That was the episode where you had Bleeding Gums Murphy come in, Lisa's idol, to become a saxophone player, who tragically ended up dying in that episode. I believe it was due to cancer of some kind, I don't know. Because he was in the hospital when he appeared in that episode. Before that, Bart um, had a stomach infection after he swallowed a big metal thing inside a cereal box. Um... And then that's when he had to go take the surgery because his appendix were about to burst because of that. And that's where Lisa caught him. And uh, she went to a competition for a saxophone. And Homer forgets about it, tries to get her... A... Oh no, that's another episode, I'm sorry. That's another episode. Um, but yeah, and then Lisa goes to make, uh, I believe it was an album for him, in honour of his memory. But they couldn't, she couldn't quite find one, but then Bart gets one for her. And it, it kind of ends in an emotional way for her. But good episode. We have the Springfield Connection. That was the episode where um, Marge becomes a cop. And uh, I love the the fart. The, the, the fart. Botch. Bah, the fart. The part. Sorry. Where um, Marge comes into the office. And they're all eating pizza. And Marge is like, actually, I'm interested in becoming a police officer. And the reaction of the cops was hilarious. The, the reaction was this. <laughs> They're all dying laughing, and all of a sudden, Chief Wickham's like, <laughs> Welcome aboard, man. Like, that was hilarious. And she did, the, she did it quite well, actually. Her job was pretty good, but later on, she had to arrest her own husband, Homer, for parking in, in a legal area. And that's where Homer just goes apeshit on her. And they, they just kind of separated a little bit there. Um, we have Lemon of Troy, which is... I've also done an episode review on that. You ought to check that out as well. It's one of my most recent episode reviews I've done. It's the war between Shelbyville kids and Springfield kids all over a lemon tree. Where Shelbyville wannabes steal the tree. And they go into Shelbyville to get it back. And the parents try to stop them. And they get in on the act as well. It's a good episode. You want to check that out. And check out my review on that episode as well. Uh, and last but not least, we have the most significant part of the entire season. Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 1? And honestly, it, this episode couldn't have gone any better, if I'm honest with you. Um, Mr. Burns has become the most hated man in all Springfield of all time. Um, and to be honest, this is one of the most unpredictable episodes. And in part two as well, where you really thought, who could have possibly done this? Because they had a town meeting in the hall to discuss what they should do about Mr. Burns and how they're going to deal with all of this. And Mr. Burns' main plan is to block the sun. So there's no light, but only darkness. And when that happens, Mr. Burns is jumping for joy. Everyone's pissed the fuck off. I mean, look what all he did to Springfield. I mean, he attacked Bart's dog, destroyed his treehouse. Um, what else? He doesn't. He can't remember Homer's name. He gets so pissed off about that. Um, Krusty was on vacation, but a few people were like, did he, was he really on vacation? Um, he robbed the school of financial music for Lisa while they were in the school. Um... Oh, God. Did he do anything else? Well, he did a lot of things. Let's put it that way. He did a lot of bad things that caused people to hate him. And all of a sudden, boom, outside the town, got shot, and any, everyone was a suspect. And to be honest, before I even knew it was Maggie, I was predicting that it could have been Smithers. I mean, it made all the sense in the world. I mean, Mr. Burns fired Smithers for Smithers not going with his plan to block the sun. And... It, it would have made a lot of sense in the world, but again, it probably would have been pretty predictable, if you ask me. So, all of the episodes, I, didn't, I talked about the majority of them, but not all of them, because I didn't want to drag the video on. So, overall, season this season six is, in my opinion, the best season out of all the ones I've got. 
and in my opinion the best one of all time. Um, if you don't have it, make sure you get it. I mean, it's a great season. You won't be missing out. I mean, no, it's been out for years, but on DVD, it's a great feeling to have it, you know. So that's the end of my Simpsons 6 on DVD review. Make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video. And the most important thing is to subscribe to my channel. That would be very well appreciated. Uh, while you're at, you can subscribe to Alex Wilkinson, who's a good friend of mine who makes videos, who's made way more than I have. And Connor Kenway as well, who does a lot of variety of videos based around GTA and glitches and just him messing about, it's very entertaining. So that's the end of this video, peace out.